This NBA legend was nicknamed Mr. Clutch. The logo. And Zeke from Cabin Creek. Who was it? Find out next on Sarah's Wiki Corner podcast. It is 4.16. Time for Sarah's Wiki Corner. Sarah, hello, Sarah. Hello. Hello. What are we learning about today on your Wiki Corner? Well, there was some sad news uh, from the world of sports today. Yeah. Uh, Jerry West. Jerry West, Passed yeah. away at the age of 86. Now, yeah. if you if you are not familiar with his name. I wasn't. I wasn't either. But you are definitely familiar with his likeness. Because yeah. not only was he uh, an incredible basketball player, but he's also uh, the inspiration behind the NBA logo. So, so that's him. That's, that's him, him with, in the, the in stance the, with the yeah, ball. Yeah, exactly. Okay. That's him in the NBA logo. Well, it's hard to make out who it is since it's right, just it's a white just a silhouette. White, but it, but that, it, right, that yes. is it. Um, so Jerry West was a, a basketball executive and a player. He had a 14-year career with the Los Angeles Lakers and was the co-captain of the 1960 U.S. Olympic gold medal team. Oh. West's NBA career was very successful. Playing the guard position, he was elected into the NBA All-Star team 14 times, so all wow. 14 years of his career he was an All-Star. Wow. Um, and he was chosen as the All-Star MVP in 1972, the same year he won his uh, the only title of his career. Gotcha. West holds the NBA record for the highest points per game average in a playoff series. His nicknames included The Logo, for oh, obvious he, reasons. Because he, he was, was the logo. The, the, yeah. yeah. Uh, Mr. Clutch for his late game exploits. Oh. Mr. Outside. And this one's, I think, my favorite of all of them. Zeke from Cabin Creek <laughs> for the creek that was near his birthplace in West Virginia. Zeke from Cabin Creek. Yeah. Yeah. That, is, that a, is that a shortening name? It's a long one. Uh, yeah. Now, in 1969, the NBA hired a brand consultant named Alan Siegel to create a new logo. Mm. He had overseen the design of the Major League Baseball logo the year prior and created the modern NBA logo inspired by MLB. Oh. The images are strikingly similar if you look at them. There's the white the white silhouette and the red and blue background. Right. Um, however, the NBA's logo visibly features a player in the middle of a dribble move. Right. Yes. yes. So Siegel was searching for inspiration for his NBA logo when he called up his childhood friend who happened to be an editor at a sport magazine at the time and gave Siegel access to the publication's photo archives. Okay. So Siegel was immediately drawn to a photo of Jerry West taken by the Lakers' official photographer, which depicted West dribbling the ball with his left hand. They traced the photo, designed the logo in about an hour, and presented it to the NBA the next day. And they loved it. They loved it. It yeah. is a real action shot. It is. There's movement. There's movement in that. Yeah. You're, and you're saying this, the, the baseball one came first yeah. about a year before. Yes. And okay. they modeled the NBA after that. Yeah. Gotcha. The, the league's new logo was introduced the same year that West was named MVP of the NBA Finals, despite the fact that his Lakers lost in seven games to the Boston Celtics. So he was MVP, even though he was on the losing team. Wow. He was the MVP. Has that ever, does that no, happen? No, that was the first. That, That's the uh, first time it happened? The only, Maybe it's the only yeah. time it's happened? I think so. Wow. Yeah, yeah pretty incredible. Uh, the NBA logo has remained unchanged, except for a small change uh, in, to the typeface of the NBA wordmark in 2017, and has been a fixture of the NBA brand. The NBA has never officially acknowledged that its classic red, white, and blue logo was modeled after West. However, Siegel did confirm it in a 2010 uh, Los Angeles Times interview. And he was the designer, yes, so he would designer. know. He would know. Yes, gotcha. All right. Absolutely. So after his career, uh, playing career ended, West took over as head coach of the Lakers for three years. He led Los Angeles into the playoffs each year and earned a Western Conference Finals berth once. Working as a player scout for three years, West was named general manager of the Lakers before the 1982-83 season. Under his reign, Los Angeles won six championship rings. In 2002, West became general manager of the Memphis Grizzlies and helped the franchise win their first ever playoff berths. For his contributions, West won the NBA Executive of the Year Award twice, once as Lakers manager in 1995, then as the Grizzlies manager in 2004. He was honored as one of the league's 50 greatest players in 1996, and when the league expanded the polling to 75 players to commemorate its 75th anniversary in 2021, West was selected again. In 2011, he wrote a memoir, called West by West, My Charmed, Tormented Life. The book has had tremendous critical acclaim and became an instant New York Times bestseller. And uh, in 2019, he was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Oh, yeah. very nice. And he died in Los Angeles uh, today at the age of 86. 86 years yeah. old. A lot of pictures of him online looks... Uh, 
he doesn't. I don't know when those pictures are from. Some of them must be recently, because one of yeah. them was the Medal of Honor, which you said was what year? Twenty nineteen. So that was not yeah. long ago. Mm-hmm. He he looks he looks good. Looks, he looks young. Great for 80s. He, I would never yeah. have thought that he was eighty six. Yeah. Never. Never. All right. You picked out a record to go along with Jerry West, did you? Yeah. Sarah? Well, since he was uh, a longtime Los Angeles Laker, yeah. we're gonna play "I Love L.A." by Randy Newman. We'll do it, Sarah. Thanks so much. Ain't New York City. And there we go. Jerry West. There you go. Very nice. Very nice, Sarah. <laughs> oh, that's pretty wild. Do you think they'll ever um, change the logo? The NBA logo? They can't. They can't now. They could, swipe, they could switch it out for somebody else. I mean, they could put, like... They could. Yeah, I saw something about that, like, there were people who said, like, after Kobe Bryant died that, like, they should make, like, it, Kobe. make it him. But would you? But there's something about that stance that's so, like yeah. you say, it's got motion to it. Yeah. I mean, what would you do, like a guy, like, like that? Like that? Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Michael Jordan has some very iconic. Oh yeah, the jump man. Yeah. Right on the Jordans. Yeah. Yeah, you could, but, uh, you know, steal something like that. But yeah, I don't know. Wild. Uh, that's pretty cool. So whenever you, whenever he got to see that NBA logo, it was him. Pretty crazy. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, so my words here are he is the only player in the NBA, in NBA history to be named Finals MVP despite being on the losing team. Yeah, I can't imagine that happens very often. The losing team has an MVP. Yeah, that is, uh, that is rare. Yeah. That is rare. Did you, uh, did you record this? Yes. <gasps> I actually you remembered to record did? it. Did you record this part? I did not have to remember okay. to record everything. Baby Sarah. steps. We'll we'll get there. We'll you get to, we'll get to the point where we do everything right. Yeah, yeah. So did you know? It, so there was this story. This was pretty wild. It's out of uh, Los Angeles. Fifty-seven year old second grade teacher is not going to be charged after being caught hammered in school. The DA said, while it's highly inappropriate, it's not illegal to teach what? second grade. It's not. Drunk. How is that not illegal? I don't know. She was her blood alcohol level was more than two times the legal limit. Oh my god! Even after, even two hours after the police were called. Wow. Uh, the DA oh dropped god. charges because it's highly inappropriate. It's not illegal. I can't believe it's not illegal. How is that not illegal? Well, she must have driven to work, right? How'd she get to work? Uh, that I don't know. Two criminal charges could have been for DUI, as you yeah. say, driving to school drunk and child endangerment. But investigators couldn't prove that the children had been endangered, or that Wendy. That's her name. Wendy. Was uh, drunk when she arrived at school. I wonder. Would that make it worse? Well, what's was drinking at school? Yeah. Was she already drunk, or was she? Did she have a little something, something <laughs> like in her desk? Well, she hasn't got off scot free. The school hasn't commented, but she I has been canned. I was going to say she's not going to. Uh, parents say there's a room. new teacher in place. Uh, do you think the kids? I mean, the kids would have noticed, right? If you would notice if your teacher was was drunk, was really that drunk. I don't know. I used to smell coffee on my fourth grade teacher, Mrs. Jordan's breath. I'm not sure about. You'd be able to smell booze, I would think, right? I mean, <laughs> nothing wrong with the that's coffee. Sad. It's the booze. That's, that's the problem. Sad. It is. All right, you ready to go? Yeah. Here we go. Randy Newman, I love LA on Legends 1027, the biggest hits in the history of the world. Sarah, do remind us, why did we just play that record? Well, because we were talking about Jerry West, an yes. incredible basketball uh, player. Yeah. And he played uh, his whole career uh, on the uh, LA uh, Lakers. Yeah. And he passed away today at the age of 86. 86, good long career. Very good. Let's recap three things we must take away from today's Wiki Corner. Are you ready? Ready. Go. Uh, Jerry West was an all-star in all 14 of his NBA season. He's the only player in NBA history to be named Finals MVP despite being on the losing team. And the NBA logo is based on a photo of Jerry West taken by the Lakers official photographer. He's in motion. Yeah. He's in motion. Very good. We had this conversation just off the air, I think it was, um, if you if you think they'd ever change the NBA logo. Oh, yeah. It's it's very timeless. Like it That's is. the thing, right? It's not right. like it, you can see somebody there. Their uniforms right, their look number, age or right, something looks, yeah. it's, mm-hmm. it's just timeless. Yeah. And like you said, the NBA has actually never weighed in and said that it's him. Right. But the the, uh, the designer, designer said, it yeah, it was him that was picked out from the pictures. Wild. Folks who want to learn more about Jerry West, Sarah, where do they go? What do they do? Well, you can go to my wiki blog if you yes. go to 
Jason's1027.com. Yeah. On the homepage, there's a link that takes you to my blog where I post everything I talk about every day. It is all right there. You should check it all out. And don't forget, uh, this video goes up on the YouTubes uh, yes, shortly. That's right. So it's uh, on our YouTube channel. Yes, which you can find by searching Sarah's Wiki Corner. Yep, and it's also on Facebook. Facebook Live every day at 410. Sarah, right. thanks so much for coming. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Back tomorrow at 410, please. Traffic and weather next on Legends 1027.